What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Juice Reacts video and in today's video we're gonna be reacting to some like uh, indie homemade freaking horror films. Now if you've never heard of this channel called The Found Footage Critic, a friend of mine who I'm actually working on our own little short film, uh, we're you know cooking up some ideas right now, but he turned me on to this and he was like dude just check it out it's a whole bunch of random just people making their own things and these are a lot of different trailers so I figured let's just check out a few and you know what some of these are just really good and some of them are just delicious delicious disasters but they're great and uh, we're just gonna check them out so there is so many here to look from but I don't know why the documentary catches my eye let's check this one out first terror films the oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear the oldest and strongest kind of fear of the unknown What's your greatest fear? Death. What's up, girl? Ooh, that is bad. Oh, bad pictures? Wait a minute. I felt like I knew there that I was at. Well, the reason I'm calling is, is I wanted to say that I've chosen you for the documentary. Ooh. Hi, I'm Sandra Novak. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thanks. <laughs> Look, I've lost my keys. I literally have no idea where they are. Ooh. You trust this guy who's a big stranger. I don't know anything oh, don't about know. this guy. I don't know about those shots. We're <laughs> gonna kill you. That's you kissing Let's Jen. Love. Where did you get this? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, baddies and oh dope my God, fiends. He's killing her. Midgets and crack whores. <laughs> Children of all ages. Crack Please whores. enjoy the show. This looks like a snuff film. Got him. What's your greatest fear? Death. <laughs> Midgets and crack whores. <laughs> the anime freaking uh, little uh, wink winks right here, ladies and gentlemen, just in case they're popping up. Uh, that was interesting. The documentary. I will say it doesn't matter what movie it is, whether it is a short film or a like 100% Hollywood budget film. I don't know why oh, blind shots always, shots through blinds always annoy me. I don't care what movie it is. Found footage, freaking indie, freaking low budget, high budget, Hollywood, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why looking through the blinds always annoys me with in camera angles. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, what is the next thing we're going to watch? I feel like Be My Cat, <laughs> a film by Anne. Uh, come on, we got to watch. We got to watch this, right? We got to watch freaking Be My Cat. The following presentation was created an aspiring Romanian filmmaker obsessed with convincing Hollywood actresses. Whoa, what? Whoa. Anne Hathaway. Wait. Obsessed with convincing Hollywood actress Anne Hathaway to star in his film. Okay. All right. Uh, sized by authorities as part of a... Wait, wait, it was... No, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, this is, this is already tripping me out because it, it was initially seized by authorities as part of a homicide investigation. What? Viewer discretion is advised. What are we about to watch? Terror films. If that's like a gimmick, Hello, that's Anne. hilarious. Um, my name is Adrian. I'm from Romania, and uh, I want to make a movie with you. I saw okay. you in Dark Knight Rises, and <laughs> you're you're my actress. This is a film I'm making right now to convince you to come here and make that movie with me. I even okay. convinced uh, three Romanian actresses to play in this film to show you how I'm gonna work with you on Be My Cat. Okay. Okay, whoa, whoa. Are these actual legit film festivals? Uh, Other Worlds Austin? The actress needs to be Can't skinny. And I'm not skinny enough for you. She looks no. Like <laughs> don't, just, don't touch me! Shh, they don't know. They, I, 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 I lied to them. This don't like boys and dogs. They are, they are all bullies. I will put this material now on her face and you will see what will happen. Ah! They think that I, I'm making a real movie for cinema, you know? <laughs> Action! Okay. What should I do with you now? 
I will change the world with you, Anne. This Don't looks really good. Cut you. You're a psychopath. You have 20 seconds to give me one last word and then I will close the camera. This is a great opportunity for you to, to win another Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so look, granted, yes, you could complain about like certain shots or whatever, but that trailer genuinely made me want to watch this film. And I think that's the only thing a trailer should make you want to do. Because, one, the guy was basically doing what we now call, in YouTube terms, vlogging, and, uh, you know, talking to Anne Hathaway to be in his film, and then it just turns into. This, like, creepy, weird-ass fucking horror movie, which is really interesting. Because sometimes when people do the vlogging thing in, like, movies to be like, oh, yeah, it, it comes off really cheesy and fake, that wasn't too bad. And then just, like, the concept of, like, oh, he's making a movie to try to get Anne Hathaway to be in this film with him is really interesting. And then I guess he's just killing these girls? But even, granted, it's a horror film... But uh, the text at the beginning of it is actually really good, too, that he's trying to get Anne Hathaway to be in there, and then it got seized by the police. You got police in the actual thing. I think it was a dead cat. I hope that was a fake cat. Uh, but, yeah, this was, this was interesting. I would watch this now. So we saw the documentary. We saw Be My Cat. And, uh, oh, man, there's so many. We can make multiple videos off this, y'all. But I think the next one, so there's this one called The Murder Box. I know you can't see all of them, sorry. This I don't want to adjust the thing. Uh, we got Murder Box. We have something called The Follower. We got to go with The Follower just because of the thumbnail. You guys can't see it, but uh, can I move this over? I can actually move it over. Okay, The Follower. We're going to go ahead and watch that right now. See what this is all about. Terror films make so many things. Good for you, Terror I will films. just ask one thing of you. Oh. What is it? Tell me. Like Upstairs is a sacred place. Ooh, do not place. enter my grandmother's room. Yeah, don't do she it. She keeps bro. talking nonsense, and I think she's gone over the edge, like a long time ago. You know what I mean? A lot of shaking. What are you doing here? Go back to your room. <laughs> you don't stop recording whatever the cost is. Anyway, I told you I can see things that people don't even imagine. Ooh. Spirits and I can communicate. We have a special bond. I will know it right away if ever you come too close to that door. You get out. Or you still can. David! <laughs> Home at last. Oh. Oh, did you see the door open? Right there. That was interesting. <laughs> The dress is too white, in my opinion. That was alright. That was alright. I you will say... Can. The creepy part. Where's the creepy part at? There you go, that part. So, like... I think in Hollywood, they actually get really crazy contortionists to do those weird, like, walking things. That's why it would look so weird. Because it's really kind of hard to fake that, I guess. Um, and then of course if somebody is not super like crazy contortionist, it's gonna kind of look like that. Um, but I will say the dress is coming off a little too white. I think it needs to be a little bit, uh, like dirtier and stuff. And I think, I don't know, cause I don't know why it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't look right. Being like super white. I mean, maybe it plays into it later. Maybe it, there's a reason why it's so white. I'm not really a big fan of that. Uh, but let's go ahead and do camera phone. One more, one more. No, I'm not gonna tell a ghost story. I'm gonna tell a true story. Ooh. This place was a weapons manufacturer during the Vietnam War. Doubt it. And Liar. And goes that three workers died in one of the rooms downstairs. This guy, <laughs> the other guys are cool. Ooh. Damn, how did the other guy just die in a weird body position? If I don't make it out alive, the footage on this phone will tell you everything. But what if they destroy it? Stupid! <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh my god, it's from Orange County. This is Eve Griffin reporting live for KFBS 12 News. Tonight we're going Eve. to be investigating this Freaking mystery party at what appears to be some kind back, of a girl. warehouse in downtown Orlando. Tonight we're going to be going into what's involved with all these secret parties. Wait a minute, did, she, did this just say it was from Orange County and then now she's in Orlando? What? <laughs> There's a way to communicate with the dead. Oh, now there's a Power's spiritual going. thing? Vanessa, the hey, power's up, out. We need to go. my <laughs> fault. <laughs> Yo, I love that. That was awesome. The story I told you. People <laughs> If anything, that was dope. This isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the vodka. <laughs> I like the effects of the fall with the pulling, that's a good thing. A hilarious movie to watch um, but yeah did they literally say this was in Orange County and then freaking events news released former employee of the department and news reporter blah 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 okay uh, by the Orange County Sheriff Department and YouTube party dot com um, and then she says it's in Orlando I don't know maybe maybe that has nothing to do with the film and that's just something else uh, but yes if you guys want to just go binge a bunch of random indie horror film stuff go check this out i obviously if i had to pick my favorite one it was be my cat that was freaking awesome like whether that was indie and the guy made it himself just with a couple of friends or whatever it looked good and got me interested in the horror film and i don't even know if those awards that they showed were right because i feel like some people will just put a bunch of things in here just to make this look really cool but if it actually won all those things that is awesome and i'm just really interested in that film and I'm hoping I can just find it somewhere and be able to watch it because that was pretty dope. It's from 2005, so I mean 20, uh, 2015, my bad. But yeah, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you enjoyed any of this content, go freaking subscribe to Found Footage Critic and also go watch those movies if you're interested in them, especially if you're just looking to have a cool, fun movie night and be like, yo, dude, I saw this freaking thing. Like, We got to watch this film, man. It's so good or it's so bad or it's hilarious. Whatever you think of horror, because I feel like, and I'm not knocking these films, by the way. I know that there are actual horror film people out there that make movies to be bad like that's what they do they you know they know that people are like oh i just want to see like a random ass cult classic type film and you know that there are a lot of people out there just kind of do that on purpose sometimes it doesn't work because the audience actually knows they're doing it on purpose but i don't know i think this is pretty cool i feel like you could have a blast watching a bunch of these we'll definitely do another version of this in the future but for now go ahead and hit that subscribe button ladies and gentlemen because we're almost at a thousand subscribers it's gonna be awesome once we hit a thousand thank you so much for supporting this channel as always i'm your host juice box remember to wake up in the morning and ask yourself something find my daily dose of juice see you guys next time